We have just released the 2023 version of AutoCAD OEM. There is one new thing that may leave you in a quandary working on your OEM product. From now on, you are required to digitally sign the distributable module of your OEM deployment. In this short video, I will explain how. Let's start by checking the README file. Under General Information, Digital Signature Requirements section, there's a reference to the OEM Developer's Manual. Let's go there. This can also be found from the Start Menu group of AutoCAD OEM. Under the What's New section, the Installer Wizard is listed. There's a direct link to Digital Signatures and Signing Files chapter. You can read about certificates, PFX files, signing, and verification of signatures. If we jump to the chapter named Create an Installation Program, that has a section describing the different tabs of the Install Wizard. In this section, the new Digital Signature tab has been added. It contains explanations of all the input fields of that tab. I will now do the signing procedure as an exercise to explain each step. First, we'll make sure we have a newly built OEM application. We'll, uh, we'll run it once to make sure we have generated all folders and registry entries. Close the running instance. Next step is to launch the install wizard. I have an install wizard project file that I prepared beforehand for the exercise. It's a new digital signature tab with fields for certificate file, password, algorithm, and timestamp server location. Having all those data entered, we can start the building of the deployment. Once that's finished, I'll copy the output location of the master, and let's check the result. Find our MSI module. Right click, properties, and the digital signatures tab shows the signing. The reason, or rather one condition, that the signing was actually successful was that I've added the location of the sign tool exe utility to the system path. You may not want or be able to tamper with the system path just for the OEM install wizard signing process. In that case, you create the deployment as usual from the install wizard, then manually sign the MSI from a command prompt using the sign tool exe. In this example, I performed the signing from the Windows SDK folder, but you could obviously do this in a number of different ways. I hope this video makes things a little easier for you. Thank you for watching.